Let's go. Welcome to this very beautiful weekend this Saturday, the 25th day of November 2023. That makes it the last Saturday in the month of November 2023. And this is your live boy today. We're reading from the last chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes today. That's the 12th chapter. And the title has to do with even a style of writing that Solomon, King Solomon himself introduced in that chapter. So the title is The End of the Matter. I'm sure if you've been with us on your life boy today for quite a while now, you will observe that I will say anytime you read from the book of Ecclesiastes, whatever portion you read, just go and read the 12th chapter, especially from about the, the 12th a verse of the 12th chapter, and you read the 13th uh, verse as well, which will tell you about the end of the matter. So today, we are just reading that end of the matter. A long passage, Ecclesiastes in chapter 12. Let's go now. Remember also your creator in the days of your youth, before evil days come, and the years draw nigh when you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are darkened and the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house tremble and the strong men are bent and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look through the windows are dimmed and the doors on the street are shut. When the sound of the grinding is low and one rises up at the voice of a bird, and all the daughters of song are brought low. They are afraid also of what is high, and terrors are in the way. The almond tree blossoms, the grasshopper drags itself along, and desire fills. Because man goes to his eternal home, and the mourners go about the streets, before the silver cord is snapped, or the golden brule is broken, or the pitcher is broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern, and the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the spirit returns to God who gave it. Vanity of vanity, says the preacher, all is vanity. Besides being wise, the preacher also taught the people knowledge weighing and studying and arranging proverbs with great care. The preacher sought to find out pleasing words and uprightly he wrote words of truth. The sayings of the wise are like goads and like nails firmly fixed are the collector's sayings which are given by one shepherd. My son, beware of anything beyond these. Of making many books, there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. The end of the matter. All has been heard. Fear God and keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. So the end of the matter is that you should fear God with all of your knowledge, 
you are the professor of professors, you are the most senior, the chairman of the Council of Kings, you are His Excellency, the chairman of the Governor's Forum. In fact, amongst the presidents in your continent, you are the richest. All those will not matter if you do not fear God. You will just be brought as low as King Nebuchadnezzar who turned into a beast. Fear God. And if you fear God, you will fare well. So let that message spread that if you fear God, it will fare well with you. And that is what God expects of you. Well, if you fear God, then you will be in him. So the end of the matter, of all that we have read in Ecclesiastes, is that if you want to fear God and you want to be in Christ, come right now. Just give your life to Christ and it will be well with you. If you are set for that experience, just say this prayer, say, Lord Jesus, I have had the end of the matter now. It is that I should fear God and therefore I come to you with a broken heart. I say, Lord, have mercy upon me because I have been a sinner. I now accept that you died and rose for me. Accept me as one of yours too. As I yield my life completely to you from today, I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If you just said that prayer, welcome. Welcome to the fold of those who fear God. You need to find a Bible-believing church where the end of the matter being fearing God will be a regular message for you to hear about and to know how to go about it. I always recommend that you join us in the Anglican Church of Upiester Extension of Shubu. We worship for now in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches, Middle and High Schools, Oinko, and Gokyomi Garden Drive, or Upiester Extension in Oshobo. You can join us every Tuesday for our midweek services. You search the scriptures in those uh, times together, and that will be 5 o'clock in the afternoon, like I told you. But if it's on Sunday, you want to join us, join us 9 o'clock in the morning. It's still in the same chapel hall of the early branches between like high schools. When you come and go, can you go and drive with the extension of Shogo? But we're trying to build a purpose-built house for the Lord where we can worship in the presence of the Lord. And you can see the bank account details of this on the screen right now. Please put something there and the Lord will bless you. And as you go out this beautiful Friday and got it. Oh, today is Saturday. This Saturday, say this prayer. Say, Lord, give me a new and contrite heart. To fear, I obey you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So go out today. Fear God and it will be well with you. God bless you.